Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, so uh, I'm about to give you a talk about uh, wireless uh, security and especially uh, Wi-Fi traffic injection. So uh, this is the agenda of the presentation. So uh, we'll see uh, quickly some uh, dot eleven uh, basics to understand how it works and uh, how we can inject traffic on a wireless network. And then we'll see uh, how we can attack new attacks or attack improvement using Wi-Fi traffic injection. And then uh, what we can do against it with, uh, I mean, nowadays standards for wireless security, WPA, WPA2, and things like this, and then conclusion. So uh, this is a commercial slide. My company is paying for the trip, so I have to put it, so I work for them. Okay, so uh, I think everybody in the room is, uh, is aware that uh, Wi-Fi networks are quite insecure, uh, meaning that uh, open networks are prone to uh, all land-based layer two attacks, we all know. Uh, I mean, we've seen some people playing with the network here, so uh, be careful. And that web is vulnerable. So um, this talk is just about it, so uh, why do it? Uh, the thing is, people never learn. That's it. So uh, just want to uh, clarify some points and show you that with uh, Wi-Fi injection nowadays, uh, open networks and web networks are just can't be used. Because um, traffic injection has changed quite things in uh, Wi-Fi security uh, field. Uh, first, it's, uh, it increases uh, uh, the number of services capabilities. If you're okay. able to inject crap stuff, you can uh, disconnect people, uh, totally screw the whole wireless network. Uh, you can break web within a few minutes. We'll see uh, how you can do this. And you can attack directly station and their, their traffic. But still, we know this, but nowadays, uh, ISP continue to sell boxes, you know, uh, wireless, routers, modems, with only web and nothing else, and you just can't flash it. Uh, and most commercial hotspots are based on uh, open networks and captive portals, which is in terms of security totally set. So for, uh, for wireless basics, so uh, DAT11 is uh, an IE standard, so uh, it's known commercially as Wi-Fi. Um, well, made a mistake. So it's uh, CSMA CA based. So uh, we listen to the um, to the traffic to see uh, when we can uh, when we can emit frames. Uh, we have two mode infrastructure that we are using in the room with uh, an access point or direct connection, which is called ad hoc. So it's two different modes of uh, accessing the network, but basically the security is the same. Uh, all is relying on the uh, association concept, so to access the network you uh, must be associated, meaning that you must have completed uh, some kind of authorization towards the access point or another computer if you are using a uh, ad hoc network. So uh, most of the things are based on the uh, association thing, so it's quite very important. And then on the, on the network, we have two major kind of traffic. We have uh, data traffic, so that's what you do with the network. And aside of this, we have management traffic. So management traffic is responsible to uh, manage the network, keep the state okay, and everything else. So um, everybody knows that uh, wireless things are highly insecure because you just can't uh, protect them for being uh, listened or for people to, uh, to send stuff in it. 
So uh, they decided to put a bit of security in it. So it's called WEP. So WEP is a wired equivalent privacy and not weak uh, encryption protocol. But uh, that's the thing it does. So it's uh, authentication through a challenge response, uh, confidentiality with RC4. So RC4 key is based on a fixed key plus uh, 24 bytes IV. So we'll see this later. And uh, integrity with uh, CRC32, which is known not to be uh, an integrity uh, mechanism, but that's it. So about Wi-Fi injection. So uh, Wi-Fi injection is, uh, we have some tools for quite a few years, but uh, they were primarily focused on uh, injecting management traffic. So uh, basically you need uh, appropriate hardware, meaning specially appropriate firmware on your wireless adapter. Uh, you need an appropriate driver, and then some uh, nifty tools to use all this and being able to inject uh, wireless frames. Uh, so we have some tools, so uh, you can have a look at uh, AirJack, which is uh, a driver for uh, Prism 2 uh, network adapters, uh, which is quite cool and uh, quite efficient. But uh, all the, the library, all the tools are really focused on management traffic because management traffic is really easy to inject. Um, may, most of the tools are based on host AP driver. So host AP driver is a driver for Prism 2 uh, firmwares. It's uh, indeed a very, very good driver. But Prism 2 network adapters are somewhat reluctant to, uh, to inject what you really want to do. Uh, as an example, if you try to inject uh, an Ethernet broadcast uh, frame, then it will replace your destination address with the uh, AP address, which is quite annoying. So uh, some, uh, some good hardware, so Prism 2, all the Ferros network adapters, works very, very well, uh, and uh, PRISM uh, 54, which is the next generation of PRISM, uh, Prism hardware, with, uh, so with the appropriate driver, so for Atheros it's a mad Wi-Fi driver, so it needs to be patched, so uh, patch is quite easy to find. Uh, PRISM 54, you have to use a development snapshot of the driver, works quite well. In all of this, Aferos is the uh, most easy chipset to find on the market. Prism 54 is uh, stopped, so it's quite difficult to find good network adapters with it. So to inject traffic, it's quite simple when you have all this. So uh, you load the driver and activate the adapter, meaning uh, I have config uh, the interface up and you're going. Then you put it in monitor mode because we, we just don't want to, uh, to inject just Ethernet frame on a given association, but we want to inject full uh, dot 11 frame with uh, all headers and stuff. So monitor mode, appropriate channel, and then you just have to open a row socket, basically, on the interface and play with it. But still, be, beyond this, you have to implement your own dot eleven stack, so you have to manage all the traffic that comes, and then uh, if an add IP and find or implement libraries, so you can uh, manage to uh, to build your frames quite easily, because uh, building an Ethernet frame using uh, Libnet is about uh, fifty lines of code. Uh, building a dot eleven frame is uh, the ball of this. So, regarding the attacks, so uh, we'll see uh, five uh, five cases. So, regarding management traffic.